For over 50, 50 years, the church has always celebrated this Sunday as the World Day of Prayer for Vocations. And this is to remind us how earnestly we need to pray for vocations to the priesthood and the consecrated life. All of us have a role to play in fostering priests and religious vocations. How important it is that there will always be good holy priests and pastors who will lead us to Christ and share with us his love. A love that not only consoles and strengthens us, but indeed a love that changes us, transforms us into disciples and witnesses. What then do we know that Christ is calling us, and what does it require of us to hear his call and to answer to it? Vocation is always a work of God. He leads us beyond our initial situation, frees us from every enslavement, breaks down our habits and our indifference, and brings us to the joy of communion with Him and with our brothers and sisters. I ask all of us today to listen to God's call and to pray for the courage to say yes to Him. Indeed, answering God's call is exciting, but as with every other decision we make, it involves saying no to other possibilities, including perhaps your current job or career track and your plan for your life. Yet, it is in surrendering our plans to the Lord that the real plan becomes evident. The plan which the Lord has in mind for me and for you. I ask everyone here, pleasing to pray for religious vocations, that many more young men and women will ask God's call, will answer God's call. We should also pray for those who are already in seminaries and religious houses of formation at this time, that they will persevere in accepting God's call. And I ask you also to please pray for bishops, priests, deacons, and those in consecrated life, that God will strengthen us in our vocations in order to lead us in the ways of truth and the Lord. As we are in the presence of God in adoration, Jesus the Good Shepherd is with us in the Eucharist. May we open our hearts to Him in love and thank Him for loving us infinitely and personally. May we listen to His voice and follow this Good Shepherd wherever He leads us. May God bless us and keep us in His love. Jesus said, I am the Good Shepherd. A Good Shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. I am the Good Shepherd, and I know mine, and mine know me. Just as the Father knows me, and know the fa I know the Father, and I will lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. This also I must lead, and they will hear my voice, and there will be one flock and one shepherd. This is why the Father loves me, because 
I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down on my own. I have power to lay it down and the power to take it up again. This command I have received from my Father.
Pope Francis reminded us that vocation is about making God's dream come true. Pope Francis' message released for the 59th World Day of Prayer for Vocation on the theme called to build the human family. It encourages every person in the church to give the very best of themselves in this great divine plan. He speaks about vocations In speaking about vocation, we are speaking about making God's dream come true. The church of us the word day of prayer for vocations on this day, also known as Good Shepherd Sunday. In this message, he reminds religious and clergy that they are called to be protagonists of the church's mission to be guidance of one another and of creation, to welcome God's gifts, to respond to God's great gifts, and to build a fraternal world. We are in God's heart. As Christians, we do not only receive a vocation individually, we are also called together we are like the ties of a mosaic. Each is lovely in itself, but only when they are put together do they form a picture. Each of us shines like a star in the heart of God and in the firmament of the universe. At the same time, he reflected, we are called to form constellations that can guide and light up the path of humanity, beginning with the places in which we live. The mystery of the church is a celebration of differences, a sign and instrument of all that humanity is called to be. Each he insisted is invaluable for their individual contribution. Making God's dream come true. The Pope says that when we speak of vocation, then it is not just about choosing this or that way of life or devoting one's life to a certain ministry or being attracted by the charism of a religious family, movement, or ecclesial community. It is about making God's dream come true, the great vision of fraternity that Jesus cherished when he prayed to the Father that they may all be one. The Pope says, each vocation in the church and in a broader sense in society contributes to a common objective, namely that of celebrating among men and women that harmony of manifold gifts that can only be brought about by the Holy Spirit. God's purpose for us. Addressing priests, religious, consecrated women and men, and the lay faithful, the people encouraging everyone to journey and work together in bearing witness to the truth that one great human family united in love is no utopian vision, but the very purpose for which God created us. The Pope concluded his message to World Day, a World Day of Prayer for Vocations with an appeal to 
to the entire church to work together inspired by God's love. Let us pray, brothers and sisters, that the people of God, amid the dramatic events of history, may increasingly respond to this call. Let us employ the light of the Holy Spirit so that all of us may find our proper place and give the very best of ourselves in this great divine plan.
can share the intercessions. O oh God, who enlightens the minds and inflames the hearts of the faithful by the Holy Spirit, grant that through the same Spirit I may know my true vocation in life and may have the grace to follow it faithfully. Lord, hear us. The Lord, Lord graciously hear us. On this vocation Sunday, we pray for those whom God is calling to serve Him in the brisk of their religious life. May they sense that call with greater clarity and have the courage to respond generously. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. We pray for those who work to promote vocations in our diocese, that they may work with our priests to create a culture of vocations in every parish community of our diocese and the whole world. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord gracious, hear us. For all parents who by their prayer and example nourish the call of God in their children, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear us. For bishops and all the priests, that they may be renewed in faith and continue to be good shepherds of the people of God, with truth, charity, and joy. Lord, Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For us seminarians who are studying for priesthood for our diocese and the whole world, may the Lord bless them, guide them, and all those preparing for priesthood. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. hear us. For our civic leaders, doctors, nurses, and all who serve the common good. May the spirit of the Good Shepherd of care and service continue to be strong at this difficult time. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, can you complete for us? Merciful Father, hear the prayers of your people who praise you for your care. Through these prayers of intercession, may we never grow indifferent to the needs of your people. We ask thee through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Together we pray. Prayer for vocations. Lord, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus, you recommend me to us to ask for an increase to the Lord of the harvest. We beg you through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Can you multiply the number of religious in this congregation? The need of religious literature the apostolic spirit is most urgent. Choose in all families and in all schools those youthful hearts which may be in unison with Jesus. Lord, prepare them yourself. Make them understand and experience the wonderful greatness of your call. Preserve them from evil. May they keep their purity intact. May their spirit be naked by you, eternal truth, be set forward and calm. May their will be daring and strong, upheld by your omnipotent will so that they may follow you till they are walking beside you and do more than the Lord Christ and ours as well. Hear our pleas. Bless and sanctify those of us who have already made an absolute donation of our life. Make us worthy of the sublime mission which you have entrusted to us. We ask you for the numerous and the holy vocations. Amen.
Let us pray for our Holy Father, for Francis. May the Lord preserve him, give him life and happiness, and deliver him not into the hands of his enemies. May your hand protect your children one. The man whom you have strengthened. O God, shepherd and sovereign ruler of all. Your faithful, we mercifully on your servant, our pontiff of Francis, whom you have constituted as shepherd of your church. Grant that through his example and teachings, he may lead by those whom you have ordered him to lead. May he attain eternal life in union with the flock which you entrusted to him. Through Christ our Lord. Don't you make go Most precious blood. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be the name of Mary, the kindest of our souls, and the fidelity of the Lord endures forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, for without end. Amen. Let us eternally adore the blessed Son. 